Okay, so Boom Barrage, yeah, I got the resources for this. Okay, what else do we do? Nothing? Explore. And yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. Our hull's a little bit on the injured side, but we actually have a really easy, uh... Uh, we actually have a really easy heal here. Anyway, our, our scanners are picking up a cargo ship, and it looks like it's been abandoned for a while now. Really? Huh. Let's go see what we can find. It's probably looted already. Do you still want to go in? Of course. Cassian Fay park near the cargo ship and enter it. Most things in the ship have already been looted, but they managed to find a well-hidden cargo hatch that has not been opened yet. They find a batch of cargo that fetches them a good price when they send it to the hub market to be sold. I was actually hoping for resources. Oh well. Uh, let's see, hands up or we'll shoot. We'll just take the whole damage again. Yeah, so that's that's the robbers. I it'd be nice if this had like the uh the FTL system where different crew members would actually give you option like, you know, the blue text options, but I haven't seen any yet. Anyway. So we got a pumpkin. Uh so they got a succubus and another one of these things. Okay. So the nice thing is calm restores all parts. Oh. Oh, it's the calm weather. It's okay. I was wondering about that. So we've got uh we've got full speed ahead. It heals the user's hull for a moderate amount based on charge. Yeah, so let's take out let's take out their uh Let's take out their guns. And then instead of, um, instead of, uh, hitting their hull, we're going to hit them with full speed ahead. And that should give us, uh, some opportunity to heal. Okay, and we'll just fire those so we can get some extra charge here. And it's not dead yet. It's getting there. Okay, uh, these two together? I don't want to waste too much because I can work on other things. Okay, there we go. So, full speed ahead heals how much? 220, and yep, there we go, back up to full health. Nice. I guess we'll just fire at him normally. Yeah, he's gonna ram our ship, but we got shields. Yeah, so as long as we have our shields set to hull, uh, we have nothing to worry about for uh, for ramming them with full speed ahead. And it gets me, I mean, that was like 400 HP or something crazy like that. Super satisfying. Cassie, a meteor is headed straight for us. What do we do? Uh, Brace for impact. They brace themselves for impact, but the meteor simply flies past them, missing them completely. Faye? Sorry, that was a calculation error. What? <laughs> I, uh... Hey, we got a succubus. Awesome. So I don't actually have to spend any money on it. Alright. So let's see if I can get that built. Hopefully I... Yeah, it looks like I got the resources for it. So succubi don't do a whole lot of damage, but heals the lowest health for 150 of this weapon's attack. Great laser weapon. Does it cost... Let's, okay, it's three energy. Oh, that's fine. And you can work on that. Oh, we got plenty of resources. Not much else beyond that. Now, we could taxi back to the hub. But where's the fun in that? Let's go back. Let's go back here. I got plenty of fuel. Yeah, so if we wanted to taxi back, we'd save some souls, which might not actually be a bad idea. But I've got so much time, I can do kind of whatever I want. Okay. Plus, we're uh, we're actually trying to waste some time here to get as many uh, blueprints as we can. Okay. I really like the combat in this game, though. I really do hope they keep opening it, um, opening up new weapon types. Hello. Hey, the potato with the pink hair. Cassie and Faye see a beautiful blonde cheese girl stride up to them, a perky smile on her face. Hi, you have a ship, right? I want to join your crew. We're not going to accept anybody. Why would she? Why should we take you? I'm an able hand on a ship, and I need to look for someone. I'm. I need to look for my Ken. What? What's a Ken? Not a what? Who? Ken is my future prince in shining armor. He's lovely, handsome, caring, and sweet. And imaginary. Not for long. I've waited for him for you. Hiccup. 
I've waited for him for years, and I'm not waiting around anymore. I'm gonna go look for him. I'll find my Ken, and we can get married and have kids and live in a nice country cottage, and he can cook and clean. I enjoy a high-flying career job. It'll be a perfect happy ending. Huh. I kind of like her. Well, what do you think? Let's take her on. Welcome to the Fish's crew. Miss, what's your name? Barbie. Thanks for taking me on. I'm really looking forward to exploring the universe and finding my Ken. I'm more than happy to help. Oh, I can't wait for you to meet your Ken. It's so romantic. Yeah, I can't wait too. Though I won't mind if it's a Jane instead of a Ken. Gender is a social construct. Am I right? Uh, Cassie and Barbie walk off, gossiping happily, Faye falling behind. Barbie joined your crew. Do we we have enough crew slots for that? Really? All right. Was not expecting that. Anyway. Uh, so it's tempesting, but honestly, that's not a big deal. So yeah, let's just blast these guns off as usual. Yeah, so like, I like the combat in this game. It's super solid. Um, <laughs> took you a while to get the, that reference chat. Oops, forgot to fire my laser. Um, should probably take a look at the, uh, which one of the, yeah. Okay, so slot one's taking some hits. Let's focus on defending that for a bit. Um. But yeah, I really like the combat in this game. It's satisfying. It's nicely fast-paced, which I really dig. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Halcyon 6. Uh, the only technically... Oh, there's a difference between clear and calm. Calm is when you heal. Clear is just... Normal. Anyway. Um, preparing to ram my ship. Hardly an issue. Though we should probably switch the shields to hull, just in case. Um... But yeah, it reminds me of Halcyon 6. Not as not as complex. A lot faster though. Which I gotta say I do appreciate. Let's see. Cassie, we got a trade request. Patching in the transmission. Hey Captain! We're in severe need of ore and bio waste, and we'll even give you more plasma than you give us. Huh? Huh? You have an offer? Four ore and five bio waste for 16 plasma. Pretty good deal if I say so myself. So, how about it? Uh, let's see, seven ore for 12 plasma? Nah, why not? It's a deal, I got plenty of both. Excellent, I'll send my crew in with our goods uh, to collect the materials from you. Thanks for the business. Tempting offer. That's totally the mask salesman from Majora's Mask. Okay, and another one of these. Alright, uh, I actually don't know which one's more dangerous. I guess I'll go for the weaker one, just because... I should have guarded number one. Uh, I can't move my shields. Uh, that's unfortunate. And looks like I'm aiming for the right thing. Okay. Yeah, the sooner we take this out, the better. I was expecting that to be a trap. Yeah, I think this is a lot more, um... I, th I think this is a lot more friendly than, um, this is a lot more friendly than FTL was. So a lot of the quote-unquote, like, trap-looking things are actually fairly benign. Uh, which I, I seriously appreciate, uh, comparatively. Because, I don't know. I like, I like FTL, but it always felt like it was kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. And after a while, you kind of, kind of got used to them. Whereas in this one, it's like 90% of them are pretty positive, and I'm okay with pretty positive. It it makes for a, a smoother experience. It could be a percent chance. Uh, percent chance. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a percent chance. I think it's just going to be uh, pretty consistent the entire way through, which is fine by me, as long as I can. Um, as long as I can make a. Uh, get some blueprints and make some actual progress here, we'll be in a good spot. Uh, let's see, that's Buffy. We get a... Wow, we got a fair amount of antimatter there. It's not even paying attention. Yeah, so we do actually have Barbie as a crafting specialist. Oh, shrapnel craft craftsman. Okay. Wait, shrapnel craft ma crafts master? Okay, I want to take a look at this. Oh, we have to fire a crew member. Well, she's a crafts master. He's just got crafts craftsman. Goodbye, George Looney.
I was hoping that we'd have a little bit extra space, but I guess, uh... Uh... Oh, Barbary. My bad. Slight differences here. Alright, yeah, so we need to get some more people. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at Barbary. Uh, can I? Overview. Here we go. Crew. So, Barbary is Craftsmaster. 5% chance to produce a perfect shrapnel when crafting. Okay, so that's... That's different. I'm okay with that. Let's see, so what do we do next? Uh, I guess we just keep making these, so I just have to make sure that I have her specifically make, um... Uh, make all shrapnel weapons. Okay, so we have a succubus here. 58 to 58 damage. Yeah, sure, it's slight. It's a slight reduction in comparison to the, um... It's a slight con uh, reduction in comparison to the damage from the pea shooter, but it will heal uh, routinely. Here's the question. We've got Flashbang. Do we want to replace that with, like, the Foghorn? Not really. Alright, well, I guess I have a whole load of things that I can drop off. Let's travel. Okay, so I could go here if we want to do crazy things. Actually, quick question. Overview. Storage. I got five slots left. Do we try... Do we range out and try this planet, just because it looks kind of weirdly apocalyptic? Sure! We're not terribly injured. And I can heal back up pretty much whenever I want, which is great. Okay. Not to mention the more time we spend, the more blueprints we can burn through here. I really should actually get him trained up. I don't know. They all say ready. I assume that just means they're ready to go. Okay. Explore. And yeah, I think after this we'll we'll swing back and head um Ooh, new ship types. I like that. Uh we'll swing back and sell some of our stuff off. Okay, sandstorm. All parts are damaged for three percent of their max HP per turn. That's rough. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. So we've got 3, 3, and 2. Well, I guess we'll go for the pea shooter. Let's see. So yeah, that's, that's going to be a bit rough that all of our parts take damage. Luckily, we've got an internal healing system, which I totally forgot to use here. Like a numb nuts, but that's okay. We'll we'll have the opportunity to to uh, to fix stuff up. Uh, the other the other nice part is uh, we can heal the whole hull. So I'm in a pretty good position. Why is there a sandstorm in space though? Looks like a lot of these actually. Uh, well, the point is we're ex we're exploring the surface of a planet, so we're actually fighting in at in atmosphere. Oh, and it's clear. Oh, that barely did any damage. But here's the nice part. Uh, well, you know what? No. They're preparing to ram our ship. Let's see how much damage they do. I got plenty of shields. I might actually be able to just forcibly heal my entire ship this way. Okay. It did da damage everything. Let's try that again. No, wait, no. They're preparing to ram our ship, period. Let's, uh... Let's not risk things for stupid science. This guy's a pain in the butt. Alright, let's block slot one. Yeah, it's a heavy it's a heavy cruiser. Oh, that explains it. Green Devil. Oh, he's gotta be he's a pickle. Of course he's a pickle. I love the fact that they've uh, expanded it from potatoes to edibles and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I appreciated I I appreciated that design. In, uh, in the first game. And it's kind of neat that they carried it over in an even more interesting manner. Anyway. The fish is gliding over the surface of the planet. Face spots a large plume of smoke rising from behind a hill. They fly over and see. To their horror, a burning village. And villagers, uh, running around in panic. Oh, they see. To their horror, a burning village and villagers running around in panic. A large, ominous-looking black ship hovers over the burning village. A small, unmanned drone. Oh, and small unmanned drones flit around the flaming buildings in smoke. A large cannon of the black ship aims at the village and begins to emit a low hum. Bright lights gathering at the tip of the cannon. 
blast that ship. Cassie slams the button to fire the laser. The laser shoots the black ship and blasts a large hole in the side. Ha! Take that! Uh, wait, something's not right. A fleet of rescue ships fly up to the black ship and start to evacuate the edibles from the ship. Put out fires. Flames of village start to go down and on their own and the smoke dissipates. It. An onion in sunglasses carrying a loudspeaker walks around and starts cursing angrily at the fish. I don't think those were the bad guys, Cassie. Huh? I think they were filming a movie and we just shot down a prop ship. A movie? Jeez, I thought they're all... Movie effects these days were computer generated. Whatever. We better get the spud out of here. Oops. So we lost money from that. Whoopsie! It seemed reasonable at the time. Our scanners are picking up a cargo ship. Oh, yeah. And never mind. That was a bad move. So, it is RNG. That one hurt me. That sucks. Okay, and we got this guy again. I am actually doing kind of bad now. All right, well, we got a healer thing. I'm gonna prioritize firing that, so we're gonna do one. Which one's more dangerous? 30 to 60 versus, yeah, we'll go for that one. Yeah, I've still, I've still got a fair amount of healing. We're gonna have to ram him though. Okay. Well, at least we took his guns off. Not entirely sure why he didn't fire initially, but you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, that... Oh, God, that, that healing gun is awesome. I don't do a whole lot of damage, but it's super useful. Okay, so he wants to do a deal. Instead, I'm going to ram him. That should get me some of my hull back. That did not get me nearly enough of my hull back. Oh, right, because I rammed him with the... Well, I rammed him without our, our frontal shields. That's rough. All right. Well, now we'll do it. All right, now our hull's back up a fair amount of HP. Unfortunately, the rest of our, our things are feeling a little bit on the sparse port part. Okay, uh, let's shield up slot one, I think, for the time being. Unfortunately, he's just gonna keep ramming us until he dies, which is rough. And he doesn't die fast. Block us number three. That healing effect from the succubus is way better than you think it would be. Like, I was expecting it to, to heal, like, you know, in the 70s, but it heals, like... It heals a lot. <laughs> Okay. And we're about to run out of shields. Hopefully this is the last encounter we run into that we can probably do one more. Probably. We're making a lot of money from this, actually. Which is kind of hugely useful. Okay, last fight? Not last fight. Alright. Oh, yeah, last fight. There's a gas station up ahead. Want to make a stop and refuel? Looks kind of dodgy, though. Nah. They leave the gas station behind and continue their journey. All right. Well, that hurt a bit, but we did get two new blueprints to work with and a fair amount of money. Skilled craftsman, extraterrestrial explorer, and amazing for an amateur. Oh, so we made a uh, superior pea shooter. Uh, so rank S. So yeah, there are ranks there. Okay. Overview. So research. Oh, I see. That's how that works. And then upgrades. Okay, we know about those. Uh, let's see, so the pacifist is a shrapnel, chance to weaken, another hop scorcher. Which cost me... I mean, honestly, we might as well make both. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to reach that. Alright. Ship's looking pretty hurt, so I think I'm actually just going to warp back to the, uh... Warp back to the station, we'll go to the next... Go to the next chapter. I just got to make sure I'm continuously producing these guns. Actually, while we're here, we've got a ton of money and we're not going to be fighting anything. Uh, let's see. Do we want resources gained? Amount of starch gained from exploration. Actually, no. I'm going to have her do... Th have her... Do that. Okay, there we go. 
So we got that researching. I want to train her. Uh, okay, so we could do extra damage attacks. Let's try learning a new skill. Yeah, if we're going to be traveling around for a little while, I should have done this the last one. We might as well uh, make the most out of it. Eh, make the most of it. There we go. Okay, fuel and hull restored. Hopefully that includes guns and other things. Okay, so... All parts, weapons... Let's see, so anything that says assigned, I can't sell. Everything else, MasterCard. Alright, yeah, let's just start selling all of our crap that we've picked up. So if it's ranked C, it doesn't sell for much. But if it's ranked A or B or whatever... S sells for even more. Do we wanna? Nah. It's only a little bit extra damage, and that su succubi is way, way, way more f more effective. Okay, so let's take a look. Hop scorcher, hop diseases. Yeah, I, I like the hop scorcher that we've picked up. Way more effective. Okay, so now I got crazy money. Uh, so we're good. Okay, so what do we want to do? Training room level two. Instant boost to skill level two. Yes. I mean, honestly, I got the money for. A lot of things here, so let's get some extra crew capacity. We don't care too much about storage right now, or fuel, or hull, or therapy. I'm sure at some point we'll care about that, but eh. I'm not even sure about shield generators. I'll probably leave it alone. Okay, so let's see if any of these guys have anything cool. Attack for missiles, rail guns, rail guns, rail guns, they're all useless. John knows. Yeah, Padme Amidala. <laughs> Padder dirt, Leah. I don't... Yeah, I guess it... I guess I get it. Anyway, refugee queen that's on the run from the evil federation of her own. She certainly has a very serene yet commanding aura around her. Alright, let's see. Coco... Cocumber. I like the reference ones. Empress Furiosa. Oh, Furiosa. Okay, Empress... Furiosa is a natural warrior with a kind heart. The universe is bursting at the seams with tyrants. So that's where she's headed, to dispense justice upon them. Alright. Well, anyway. Uh, I can pick up some raw resources. But we're actually doing fairly well there, so... Let's just get the heck out of Dodge and go to the next one. Jon Snow is Jon Knows. Really? Alright. I don't recognize all the, the references, honestly. New warp, new place. Where did we end up this time? Looks like some sort of agricultural galaxy. Certainly smells like one. You! Get out! Come back when you have quality goods for sale! Yikes, that doesn't sound pleasant. You're a shame on the Yo family you are! Your grandfather would be so disappointed in you! But, sir, please listen to me. No! Uh, you okay? Oh my, uh, yes, thank you very much. Whoa, what are these things? They're so pretty. These are chameleon tears. Chefs use them to add flavor and color to their dishes. They're extremely sought after. Chameleon tears? Is that some sort of fluffy creature going through a horrible harvesting practices? No, ma'am, you're mistaken. We don't bully them into crying. Our pasture-raised chameleons secrete these colorful crystals from their tear ducts to get rid of excess nutrients. It's all extremely friendly and non-slaughtery. Don't worry. I'm Faye, by the way. And this is my sister, Cassie. So, what just happened earlier, uh, miss? M Michelle. The name's Michelle Yo. Yo! That's her last name. I, uh, I knew that. Um, earlier, my family is the lead producer of quality rainbow tears in the Trigalactic area. Or at least we were. Recently, the ore trees on our farm, where the chameleons graze, seem to be infested with some unusual pests. Our chameleons have stopped eating and are suffering as a result. The tears we collect from them are now no longer palm-sized or nearly as vibrant. I'm really at my wit's end. They're growing weaker by the day, and I can't sell any of these tears to get them help. And I'll be letting down my grandpa. Don't worry, we'll help you out. Faye is mega awesome. Faye is a mega awesome scientist. I'm sure she can figure something out. Ask me before you offer my help. 
But yes, we'll do something about it. You can count on us. Really? All my spud? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For starters, I think it might be best to grab some ore samples from around the galaxy. See if we can identify what's causing all this ruckus. Got it. I'll head back to my farm in the meantime. Just head over to these coordinates when you're done and I'll meet you there. Who are you going to call Pest Busters? This... <laughs> this game is so doofy. Anyway, so we got Hail Mary Le level 3. A dual barrel or Okay, you know what? Let's just look at these. Alright. So Cassie now has Hail Mary level 3. Same thing plus bonus damage. 15% uh, evasion for 3 turns. And Rabble Rouser increases attack for all allied weapons by 20%. But also increases all damage taken by... All parts, not so great. What about this one? Reduces all enemy weapon attack and accuracy by 10% for three turns. Man, I have the worst hiccups here. I guess it's because I'm, like, messing with my voice a little bit, and it's it's a bit harsh. I don't know. Anyway, uh, oh, crew required. I totally forgot to actually work on the weapon that we were working on. Uh, how many days required? Two days left. Zzz. I might have to waste a day, or we could just see if I can recruit some new people. Let's get over to the hub and see what there is. Alright, uh, we can hire some new spuds if we wanna. I like Macin Macintoshly. Uh, great engineer zone right, Macintoshly has moved on from creating computers for everyday use to programming satellites and space stations. I just like him because 4% of max HP healed every turn and damage reduction, that's good. I like this guy, too. Uh, let's see, 15% chance to regain, 50% starch on research. Okay. And accuracy for missiles. It's halfway tempting to pick up uh, Runo Mara's cute. Uh, he's kind of expensive, but this way we can actually do some uh, research. And this guy's a little bit more expensive. Do you remember to put... Barbie on the shrapnel weapon. Nope, I put the wrong one on. Okay, um, let's pick up Macintoshly. He is a good alternate. Uh, he's cheap and he's a good alternate. Uh, that we that we can switch in and out freely. Okay, so therapy facility. These actually it doesn't. It doesn't seem like we've gone up a tier. Which is probably for the best. I should probably also think about uh, different shields to go for. I'm, I'm leaning for the most basic shield generator. Alright, yeah, let's get this one for the time being. And we're pretty poor now. Let's go back a bit. Uh, It's this one, yes? Okay. I'm just going to make sure I have... I'm going to say 30 of every resource before I go anywhere. No, 40. Mainly, j this way I can always just be producing weapons without pause. And if we end up with spares, we end up with spares. That's okay. Eventually, I'm also going to be making multiple games. Uh, games. Multiple guns, too, probably. How did I get this uh, if it comes out in five days? Because I covered their previous game and the developers love me. And I love them too. They made a great game. They made two great games. Anyway, did I remember to put... Okay, there we go. I've switched her out. Okay. I mean, unfortunately, we pretty much can't go anywhere for a short bit. Oh, shoot. That sucks. Well, let's travel. Let's see what I can accrue. Looks like we got a number of places to go to. We could kind of do a loop here. But honestly, I get the feeling I'm just going to get my ass kicked. No matter where I go to. So difficulty 4. Difficulty 3. Difficulty 3 small. Do we want to try difficulty 3 large? Yeah. Hmm... Or do we... Back to the ship. She's gonna be done in two souls. So if we skip one here... I don't like skipping, but this is okay. Uh, that'll be fine. So 
also gives us a gun to sell, not that it really matters. Okay, so yeah, we we have a spare pacifist. Ooh, that pacifist was not worth the cash. Maybe? I don't know. Not a great end result, anyway. Okay, uh... So yeah, if we need to, we can... Yeah, if we need to, we can fight at this point. So let's, let's travel. Do we try him, or do we try a medium four? Let's try medium four, probably. There's something about this, though. Heightened chance of enemy encounters. Oh, here we go. Weather forecast. Fog, accuracy. Ooh, yeah, some of these are rough. Toxic fog reduces accuracy and increases damage taken by everybody. And we're only going to be getting nanofibers from here. Something that I could look into. Yeah, do we try the large? Do we try that? I'm just leaning for this one because we could probably get better, uh, better ship parts. Good luck me. Hope for the best. Let's see, will this be coming out on Steam, right? Yes. Yes, it will. Okay, so we've got Second Wind. That's kind of neat. Not that useful, but still. Okay. So let's move. Let's see, so both of these characters are kind of moot here. But that's okay. I... Good luck, me. I think I can also quit out mid-battle, because it only saves when we get to these places. So if we're lucky, we'll be okay? Alright. Anyway. You cannot beat me. Oh, God. That is bad. Oh! Speaking of bad, these are very big guns. I might have made a huge mistake here. Let's try loading game. Oh, from latest soul, latest tub visit. Let's do latest tub visit. That's awesome, actually, so we can roll back and kind of make sure that I didn't make any major mistakes. All right, so... This might throw me back a little bit further than I thought. Are we... Okay, no, we're back here. We were gonna skip. Do you want to skip anyway? She's gonna be... Nah. Do we have just like a, a level 3? Alternatively, we could do difficulty 4 small. Nah, let's do difficulty 3 small. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some useful things here. I'm so glad I can, like, roll back. That'll save us so much time. Oh, I didn't buy any of my upgrades. Well, I'm only going to assume that none of them were particularly useful anyway. Alright, uh, let's check out the bridge. So... She's still training for one, so I guess I'm going to have to skip a day anyway. Wait, what was, the, what was that? Oh! Hey! Uh, you can actually save scum. Uh, you can save scum your, uh, your different abilities that you get for your crew members. So the last time we got the one that made it so we wouldn't take fatal damage. This time around it just reduces uh, damage from various weapon types. That's actually super helpful. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't actually... Oh, we didn't hire that one guy. Well, whatever. Um, screw it. Let's explore. Hope for the best. Probably gonna die. Yeah, I left behind my new crew member. I... More so what happened is I actually, uh, I never got him. Anyway. You sure this is where we should be looking? I don't see any ore, it's just a dirt wall. Cassie looks confused. She scans the dirt wall for any signs of minerals and ores they could use as samples. Positives, just blow it up right here. Faye marks an X right on the center of the wall. Do it. We don't got all day. Hmm. Fire missile! Cassie powers up one of the ship's missile weapons and lazily directs it in the general direction of the dirt wall. Out of the corner of her eye, uh, she notices Faye waving frantically at her. Cassie gesticulates to her sister that she didn't understand what she was saying. After a couple more seconds of silly hand gesturing, Cassie rolls her eyes and fires the missile. The missile tears through the air, impacts on the dirt wall. With such force, the entire monolithic dirt begins to crumble. Cassie watches as Faye scrambles to get out of the way from the landslide. She just cost. Oh, that's what she meant, but ooh, I see the ore that Michelle was describing. What do you know? Alright, those are ore samples that we're looking for. Alright, so these guys have tier 3 weapons, so yeah. Uh, I'm probably gonna 
try and grind this area a little bit further. It does look like we've got some new uh, new weapon types to come across. Yeah, so status effects that we have to worry about. Well, that's fine. As long as I'm not just going to immediately get dunked on here. Not too much that I have to worry about. Of course, we completely missed the gun we were shooting at, so that... Ow! That's a prabble. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Just hurts a bit. Glad we decided to start with a, sm a small one. The this difficulty curve suddenly just shot up like crazy. I wonder if the uh, the succubus can can heal the hull. Yeah. Oh, ow. Wow. Dang. Yeah, so the the succubus can in fact heal our um can in fact heal hull weapons whatever. Okay, so this guy's probably going to start ramming us fairly quick and he's got a lot of HP. Which is a bit of a concern. Oh, no, it looks like he's escaping in a couple of turns, so we can, uh, we should be able to use this opportunity to heal up, if we're lucky. If we're not lucky, ow. I don't know. I should be able to kill him. Unfortunately, my damage output is a little bit on the low side. Oh, it's also because it's raining. Oh, that makes this kind of rough. We might not actually, uh... We might not actually be able to kill him before he gets away. We could try ramming him. But yeah, his shields are not helping in the... ...in this endeavor, either. Alright, screw it. Full speed ahead. He has no shields. I don't know if this is going to help... ...or hurt me. Didn't kill him. Well, that sucks. And he gets away. Well... We still get some things, we just didn't get any blueprints off of him. And exploration complete. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, research lab's done. Let's unassign her from the bridge. Put her there. Put her there. Uh, we do have this shrapnel, but it's really not any better than what I have. So unfortunately, the uh, enemies that escape are going to be a bit rough.